Hello and welcome to the second video on logical reasoning. In this video, I'll discuss blood relations. Blood relations is a common question that you will see under the reasoning section in various exams. So in aptitude exams, in campus placements, in various competitive exams like UGC net, banking exams, and your MBA entrance examinations also. So what typically happens is that you get a statement, a very convoluted statement, and it'll say, how is your mother's brothers nephews sister related to you but there's a simple method that you can employ to solve these questions in seconds so that's what i'm going to do in this video through some examples so let's get started now before i solve a couple of questions and show you the different constructs under blood relations what i would say is that first we should get some clarity you know of relations and also we will discuss some symbols and notations so now one thing is that in India, we call, you know, anybody uh, your brother, right? But typically in this case, uh, when you say somebody is your brother, that means he's your sibling. You cannot even call somebody your cousin brother. There's no such thing as cousin brother. Cousin is cousin, brother or sister are your siblings. Similarly, you cannot call anybody your uncle as well. He has to be related either through your mother's side or your, through your father's side and so on. So for example, let me take a simple example. So let's say this is you, okay? And if I were to describe your parents, I would describe like this, okay? So your parents, so typically you can also keep a certain symbol for males and females. So that means if this is your father, right? So for males, we can put a square. So let's say your mother, we could put it like this, right? And when they are married to each other, we can put an equals to symbol right and you can choose any other symbol also but these notations help to solve these questions fast if let's say i were talking about your mother's brother that means your uncle we will put sibling like this direction that means if your sibling also let's say you have a, a brother you can put it like this you have a sister your sibling another sibling you can put it like this so very very simple if let's say your father's sister would be like this father's brother again would be like this so this is very simple now if i talk about your grandparents so your grandparents could be either from your father's side right that means either father's mother and father father or mother's father and mother's mother right like this now another thing to note is what uncle from this side is also uncle, this side is also uncle there. But what is the distinction? Is that on the mother's side, we call it maternal uncle or maternal aunt. Correct? So, similarly, on if somebody is on your father's side, you call it paternal. So, P-A-T-R is a root, which means father. M-A-T-R is a uh, root, which means mother. So, from there it has come. Now, if somebody talks about, let's say, your nephew. So, your nephew is who? if your sister is married so let's say your sister is married and you know she has a son or if your brother is married and let's say he has a son this is your nephew who is your niece so this is your nephew now who is your niece so for example let's say this guy's sister is your niece so basically your siblings daughter is your niece right similarly from this side as well same thing right so we are, we are clear with uncle paternal uncle maternal uncle we are clear with nephew we are clear with niece right we are clear with grandparents so these are a few relations that you know typically you should know and I'm sure all of you are already all of you already know to solve these questions now let's get on to actual questions so the first one says a is the brother of B and so on. So instead of reading all these statements in one go, we will read one by one and put them in the notation format. So he says A is the brother of B. That means A is the brother. So brother, sibling, we will represent like this. And because I know A is the brother, that means male. B, I don't know. I will not put. C is the father of A. Okay, very simple. C is the father of A. Right? So father. So on that different generation. So above him right if a's son would be or daughter would be in this direction and so on c is the father of a okay d is the brother of e so now d e are not here so let's say i'll put it separately d is the brother of 
E okay like that and he says E is the daughter of B okay if I know now E is the daughter of B and D is the brother of E so they will be here so what is the simple question then uncle of D is who uncle of D meaning D's parents brother so who is he this is A next question again we will do the same thing S is the mother of T so very simple S is the mother of T T is the husband of J so T husband of J T and J married N is the son of J N son so male we know Z is father-in-law of J Z is father-in-law meaning husband's father right husband's mother was already given so like this now next question is next thing is k is the brother of n k is the brother of n so what is the question how is k related to z how is k related to z not how is z related to k how is k related to z so from z you have to see son's son what is that grandson very simple next question he says a is the mother of d okay a is the mother of d okay and sister of b okay a is the mother of d and sister of b a is the mother of d and sister of b sister of b okay b has a daughter c who is married to f b has a daughter c who is married to f okay now b has a daughter c meaning this is female and this is male g is the husband of a g is the husband of a g is the husband of a g and a are married so the question is how is g related to d how is g related to d this is so easy g is the father right if the question was how is d related to g you cannot say son or daughter right but here we can say okay so let's move to the next question type in blood relations next is the pointing type like looking at a photograph or indicating at a photograph somebody says something to someone so let's look up at a question here so he says pointing to a girl mr ali said she is the daughter of my mother's only child how is the girl related to mr ali so again not reading the whole statement in one go but how you do is you say okay mr ali so mr ali we know mr so male says mr ali says pointing to a girl he says she is the daughter of my mother's only child mr ali's mother daughter of miss daughter of my mother's only child now Mr. Ali's mother's only child would be Mr. Ali himself and that girl is the daughter. So this is the she that he is talking about. So the question is how is the girl related to Mr. Ali? How is the girl related? Of course she is Mr. Ali's daughter. So very simple. So let's attempt one more question okay on this. Now he says pointing out to a photograph a man tells his friend friend so this man that means he's a male right he tells his friend he says she is okay this man is saying she is the daughter of the only son of my father's wife my father's wife so he says that girl she is the daughter of only son only son of my father's wife that means my parents only son and this is a man we already know that means she is whose daughter this man's daughter right who is talking here so how is the girl in the photograph related to the man how is the girl related again she is also daughter now the sixth question maybe what i can say is maybe i'll request you to pause the video here and try and attempt this question on your own very simple anyway let's solve so he says ram said to sam now again so when you say ram or ram right 
so here when you say ram so you cannot assume ram is a male right thing maybe it's ramya in the short form and you're saying ram said to sam right so it's important to know you know the gender and be very careful and pay attention to that so he says ram said to sam i am the only son okay that means male ram says i am the only son i am the only son of only brother of only brother okay of one of your parents okay so see here who is talking here right so this is the question phase so he says ram says to sam he says i am the only son of only brother of one of your parents okay so sam's parents so now sam's parents could be both sam's uh, father's brother or sam's mother's brother right so we don't know right through either way right we don't know whether through this one or through this one right only brother of one of your parents whose parents whose parents have only one son okay so little more convoluted whose parents have only one son so there are two cases that means ram's father is either brother of ram's sam's father or sam's mother so let's say he's let's say hypothesis one which is let's say sam's father's brother so in this case what will happen sam's father whose parents had only one son if sam's father had only one son then how can they be brother because they had only one son but these are two sons right two males two sons so that means this case is not possible the only case is sam's parent which is sam's mother and mother's parents who had only one son so this is anyways daughter so the only son could be this guy right ram's father so that means this is related to sam's mother so now he says what is the relation of ram's father with sam so ram's father with sam is sam's mother's brother that means uncle and through mother's side meaning maternal uncle so done okay so now we come to the last question type and this is the coded type of blood relations questions so this is the last question you may want to pause the video and do it on your own we have practiced now six questions already okay so now in these questions what happens is that they are giving some uh, coding so they are saying m percent means this uh, at the rate means this multiplication means this etc etc and then you have to choose from the options so i would say these questions typically i like to do through the method called reject to select that means i reject the wrong options and that's how i select the right options usually that's what works for me best okay so first i say that a into d means what d is the sister of a that means if somebody says a into d this means what this means d is the sister of a correct also if you note one thing is that here in terms of the generations right so like i told you right let's say grandparents are here and let's say parents are here and then let's say the children are here right so it's important to note that this symbol mean that they would be in the same generation while a plus d says daughter of a that means there would be a uptick right that means there would be a change that means if i say a plus d that means what will happen is that a will become in the next generation similarly if a divided by d means a is the wife of d meaning same in the same generation and so on a minus d means a is the brother of d again same level right in the same generation right this goes next generation right from this to this also next generation like that so he says which of the following expression means j is the sister of k now from this if you see only the plus sign means there's a jump in generation that means if you were to say between j and k if there's a plus that means they will already be jumping right to another generation but he's talking about sister so two things one is there is no generation gap that means they are in the same generation and j is female now let's look at options to eliminate so for example j k are here there are two pluses in fact this means that k would be two generations above than j then how can this be sister that means this can be directly rejected but all the other cases if you see j minus k k minus j j minus k they are all just by one minus that means and minus also here actually means 
brother that means in the same generation so so through this one we eliminated one now we eliminate some question through the gender so now when he says j minus k what it means j minus k means j is the brother of k we have to say j is the sister of k that means j minus k would mean j is the brother of k right so that means this option also we can reject j minus k because j minus k would means what it would mean j is the brother but actually we have to say j is the sister of k that means the only option remaining is this so this is so easy right otherwise and you don't have to do anything to do with l is to p that doesn't matter anyway for you right so option correct is c option so see how simply we could do it through reject to select so that's it for this blood relations question types so thanks for watching this video and i request you to practice more questions so that you become good at it and some high level questions we will solve uh, on blood relations in the puzzles video so thanks for watching this video and i look forward to seeing you in the next video